Hello everybody, I'm Neryl Cadiz, I'm a children's book illustrator, and welcome to my first ever YouTube video. So for this video, I'll be creating this illustration featuring a native Filipino kitchen. For anyone wondering, my name is pronounced as Neryl. It's like Meryl, but with an N. Before we begin, I would like to say sorry in advance if I ramble or if I go on unrelated tangents or if I stutter or if I sound nervous and mispronounce stuff. Uh, like I've said, this is my first YouTube video and I'm still learning a lot of stuff. So please bear with me. But hopefully, the more I create uh, these uh, videos, Hopefully, I'll improve in the future, and hopefully, you'll stay tuned for that. Now, back to the video. As you can see here, I am at the sketching phase. I was going for an isometric view, but I don't think I achieved it that well. As you can see here, I am just adding details uh, to the piece. I'm adding kitchen utensils, vegetables and fruits, and all those fun stuff. And as you can see now, I am adding the characters. First, I sketched in the older sister, and now I'm sketching the mother, and we have the grandmother outside. And now I'm just adding more details. I added a cat beside the table, but I changed that later on. And now I'm sketching again the mom. I work, uh, my sketches are very rough, especially for my own pieces. They're so rough that I think sometimes I'm the only one who understands them. And I think that's okay since they are my personal pieces. But when I'm working with clients, I tend to uh, finish it a little bit more. But when it comes to personal pieces, my sketches are very rough. <laughs> And as you can see here, I just sketched in the little sister who is holding up a pumpkin. I changed that uh, I got red on the pumpkin later on because I don't think it really sparked a lot of interest or it developed a lot of story. I just don't think it fit, uh, you know, in my plan for this piece. And as you can see now, I am coloring in my characters. I just colored in the younger sister and now I am starting to color in the older sister who is by the doorway. Recently I've been drawing my, I've been painting, or yeah, drawing. I've been drawing my characters my girl characters and I've been drawing them with shorter hair. I'm pretty sure it's because I grew up with short hair as well and I think it's very cute. And now I am painting in the mom who is adding in vegetables into, into their uh, stew, into their fish stew. And she is using a clay pot and a clay stove. The clay pot is called a colon here in the Philippines. And the clay stove, which is fueled by either charcoal or in this case, firewood. Uh, the clay stove is called a kalan. And here we have it. I'm just, here I am painting in the clay stoves and now I'm adjusting the younger sister's length. Now this is definitely one of the consequences 
of me not finalizing, of not working or putting in enough time on my sketches. As you will see later on, I will tweak the poses here and there. And that's because I did not give enough time to their poses during the sketching phase. I'm paying for it. <laughs> If there's anything you take from this uh, this video is that don't cut corners like me, don't be lazy like me. Yeah. If there's anything else you learn from here, it's that don't be lazy like me. And now I am just painting in another pot. Well, it's a frying pan, and we have fishes that are being fried. Now I'm painting in firewood. I'm painting in the shell and I'm just adding in more details, painting in more details. Here on the side, I've painted a heart-shaped fan. It's very popular here in the Philippines. Uh, at least growing up, we always had a fan like that, or if not my family, I always see it in other people's houses. I'd say it's a quintessential part of a, a Filipino kitchen, because you need that fan to, you know, fan the flames, literally. And now I am painting the uh, things on top of the table, which is in the middle of the room. I am painting in fish, lapu lapu fish, and now I'm painting vegetables. We have eggplants, long beans, tomatoes, and onions. And now I'm just painting in the table. It's currently orange. Oh no, it's currently blue. But I changed it later on to green. Because I thought that green, yep, here we go. I thought that green fit more of my color palette for this uh, piece. And as you can see here, I am reworking the pose of our little girl again. And instead of her holding the pumpkin, she is now holding poto cheese. By the way, uh, when I was creating this piece and painting in those puto, I remember those uh, TikTok videos of that baby girl. I think her mom is Filipino and her dad is Mexican. And when the mom was teaching the kid like the name of foods, of Filipino foods, and she introduced this, uh, the puto or rice cakes, when she, we, when she introduced that, and when the kid would say, small puto. <laughs> uh, the kid, oh, the kid is so cute and innocent, but the dad would just, would just be like, so appalled listening to her, to his kid, you know, well, it doesn't have any bad meanings here in the Philippines, but in Spanish, yeah, that word. <laughs> I guess it's a dirty word. So yeah, that was fun. And now I am just adding in more details to the background. I've drawn in the rice cooker, the mandatory rice cooker. I think, uh, I think I'm confident enough to say that almost all Filipino households have a rice cooker. Because for us Filipinos, rice is definitely life. It's not a meal without rice. If there's no rice, then it's only a snack. That's what I always say. And now, I'm just adding in more details again. I'm adding in this curtain in front of the doorway. Also in Filipino houses, yes, they don't have uh, a door. 
they usually just put a curtain in front of the doorway and call it a day. Yeah. <laughs> And watch me debate on which color to use for the curtain because I did not use a color key I did not create a color key for this piece and just went straight in because I wanted to do all the fun stuff and now I'm paying for it so as I've said later uh, before don't be like me don't skip all the necessary steps, stages, just because you didn't want to do them. Don't be lazy like me. That's the main takeaway here. And as you can see, I'm just painting in the rice cooker. I've adjusted the table and placed it more centered in the image. And now, here I am trying to make a color key in the middle of the painting process because I was too lazy to do it beforehand. Save yourself the trouble and don't be like me. So a color key, which is also known as a color composition, is like a rough pass or a mock-up or a guide of which colors you're going to use on a piece and where you're going to use them on. In this stage, you can experiment with whichever color you like to achieve your desired look without painting the whole illustration. And logically, you should do this before you go into your final colors, unlike me. And here, I think I I was satisfied with this uh, color scheme. So I continued with my color. So in my mind, the story for this piece is that it's a weekend and the kids, along with their grandma, went to the market to buy groceries and fresh produce for the week while the mom stayed at home and prepared a nice hearty meal for them. Uh, in my mind, I think the mom is cooking fish dinola, which is definitely one of my favorite. Or maybe it's sinigang. Yeah. I did draw uh, tomatoes, so I guess it could be sinigang. I'll leave that to you guys to decide. By the way, if you have the chance, I recommend that you try sinigang or fish dinola. They're such great stews, in my opinion. And yeah, let's get back to the video. And now I am painting in the sink. So typically, native Filipino houses are made up of wood, bamboo, and nipa. And whatever local materials they have in their region. There are a lot of native Filipino houses, but the most uh, famous or prevalent in the whole country is the Bahay Kubo, which is your quintessential tropical hut. I'll show some samples right here. The wood and the bamboo are used for the floors and the walls, while the nipa is used for the roofing. The nipa comes from the nipa plant, which is like a palm tree, but it has a short trunk and is made up 
mostly of leaves, very big leaves, and they make for great roofs. Here I'm just adding the floor. Also those lattice works there that I'm uh, adding are bamboos. And now I'm just adding more details. I'm adding the plates, the mugs, uh, spoon and forks. And now I am adding a bag of rambutan there at the corner. Rambutan is definitely one of the best tropical uh, fruits. If I'm not mistaken, it's native to uh, Southeast Asia. And they taste divine. They're so refreshing and sweet. And some people say that it tastes like lychee or lychee. I've never personally tasted uh, lychee or lychee, so. but it is a very nice food. fruit. Rambutan is very nice and you should try it if you're uh, here in Southeast Asia in the time we soon. And now I'm just adding in the cups about the same. By the way, those bottles that I added next to the plates those are the uh, popular condiments here in the Philippines. So, uh, in so like in the U.S., you might use like ketchup and ranch, but here in the Philippines, um, the condiments that we use a lot is soy sauce and spiced vinegar or sinama. And now I'm adding more details. I am painting in a basket of ripe mangoes and here we have the squash and now I am painting in malonggay or I think they're called moringang in English I definitely love uh, moringa leaves in stews especially in fish dinola it's very I just love the taste. It's it's so nostalgic. It's very simple, very light, but it definitely warms you up inside and it just leaves you with this very happy and warm feeling. And I really love it. It's one of my favorite uh, Filipino dishes. And now I'm just reworking the table. I am just perfecting the pattern of the tablecloth. Now this pattern, I've also seen this pattern in a lot of Filipino houses. And I also think, well at least for me, I also think that this is a quintessential Filipino thing to have in a Filipino home. And as you can see here, I'm adding anubati leaves next to the manongay leaves. Their alubati leaves are also great for stews, especially fish stews, in my opinion. And now I'm just adding more detail to the table. I'm adding tomatoes and chilies. And now I'm adding even more details. I've added a calendar on the wall. I've added uh, a bunch of onions, which are drying on the wall. And now I am adding a banana, about a bunch of bananas on top of the refrigerator. This banana is sabat bananas. They're not uh, they're not exactly the same as your grocery banana, grocery store bananas. I think those bananas are Cavendish bananas, while sabat bananas are more starchy and are good for cooking. Now I'm just adding canned goods. I've added a huge uh, can of Milo. And I added sardine cans next. And now I'm working on the floor. 
I, in, I initially chose this dark brown color but after applying it I just found it too intense I found that it made the bees too busy and it stole away the attention from, um, from my uh, characters so I had to change it later on also shout out to the people to my uh, fellow artists on SVS Learn forum they helped me decide on the flooring which is definitely a godsend thank you so much for all of you people from SVS thank you so much and now I am adding the cat and in his mouth is a little fish which he took from the table and he's sneakily like running away this catch I sometimes like to add this uh, little bit of tidbits little side stories if you will I usually have the pets or animal characters do some funny little thing in the background and I really like doing it it's like my easter eggs for my pieces and as you can see here, I lighten the floor. And I think this works better since my characters have darker colors. So since my characters have darker colors, they will now pop out against the lighter background. They will stand out more. Now I am adding in the pattern to the uh, curtain in front of the sink. And now I am working on the basket of the older sister. Now I'm adding some knickknacks and papers that this family has stuck to the refrigerator. Maybe they have some postcards, pictures, bills. And now I think I'm adding a drawing that one of the kids made. And I just added steam coming from the rice cooker and now I'm just adding some groceries and vegetables into the older sister's basket and here I am sketching in the grandma and now I'm painting her in. And after I painted her, I think that's the end of this piece. I think I added a few more stuff. I tweaked, I added some final touches. But aside from that, I think this piece is complete. And here we have it guys here's the final piece please let me know what you think i hope you like it thank you so much for watching the video up to this point i really appreciate it truth be told i've been wanting to create youtube videos for a long time now but i've always been scared because what if no one likes my art but now I'm biting the bullet, I'm jumping the shark, and hopefully I can keep this ball rolling. 
and I'll have more videos for you guys soon. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I'll see you soon. Bye!